All right, welcome back to our next calculus video. We're gonna be focusing on integration today and mainly the power rule. So we're gonna go through quite a few examples on that. Before we get started though, I'd like to thank my corporate sponsor, Sticky Feet Reptiles. You can find them at Sticky Feet Reptiles on Facebook, stickyfeetreptiles.com, or on their Instagram, Greg underscore sticky underscore feet underscore reptiles. So thank you guys for the continued support, we appreciate it. So before we get into the examples, we're going to start off with the steps for finding the indefinite integral. So of course, they're going to give you an original problem. Um, after they give you the original, you're gonna to wanna to see if you can rewrite the original to just make things easier on you. Um, after that, you wanna integrate using one of your rules or properties and then simplify if you can, right? So pretty basic rules, um, take the original, rewrite it, integrate, and then simplify if it simplifies. So the first example that we're going to start with is going to look like this. So we're gonna start with the integral of negative 24 x to the fifth with respect to x. Okay, so first thing you notice is that we have a constant. That constant, because of our constant rule, can be pulled to the outside of the integral. So I can take negative 24 times the integral of x to the fifth with respect to x dx. So that's one of our properties. That's part of the rewrite process, right? I'm trying to rewrite this make it a little easier to take the integral of. After that, you can see we just have a simple power rule. When I take the integral with my power rule, I add one to the exponent, and then divide by that new exponent. So my actual integral is gonna be x to the sixth over six, and then I'm gonna multiply this constant back through, and then because it's an indefinite integral, I also need my constant of integration, my plus c. So now to simplify this, I could take, and just multiply through negative 24 x to the six over six. And then of course, 24 divided by six, we can make just negative four x to the six plus c. So that's gonna be my answer for that first example. And remember, if you take the derivative of this function, it should take you back to the original, you could check your work. Okay, so the next example that we're gonna do, we're gonna add in a few more properties here. We're gonna look at something like the integral of negative nine x squared plus 10 x dx. So before you get started, you wanna think about how can you rewrite that to make things a little bit easier. So the first thing I notice, I have two separate pieces, so I'm gonna separate them and pull the constants out, right? Both of these have constants in them that I can pull out. So I can take the nine, negative nine, put it on the outside, then take the integral of x squared with respect to x, and because of my addition property, I can make that a separate integral and take that constant out as well with respect to x. So when I take the actual integral, I add one to the exponent for my power rule, divide. If I have x to the first plus one, divide. And then if I look at what I have, I have that negative nine, my constant, times x to the third over three. Over here, I have 10 x squared over two. And then of course, my constant of integration because it's an indefinite integral. So to simplify down, nine over three, of course, we just have negative three x to the third, and then 10 over two, five x squared plus c. So we start with the original, we rewrite it using our properties, we take the integral, and then we simplify. Not too bad if it's just a power rule. All right, let's do one more. Let's take the level of difficulty up a little bit. 
So let's take the integral of negative five times the fourth root of x over two with respect to x. So if I wanna simplify this, I have this constant in front that I could pull out. So I can make it negative five over two times my integral. And then instead of putting the fourth root, I wanna change that to a rational exponent. And I know that the fourth root is the same as the one fourth power. So that's how I'd rewrite that one before I got started, just to make it a little easier. So now if I use my power rule, I add one, well one fourth plus one, so one fourth plus four fourths would give me five fourths. And I divide by that new exponent. And then don't forget, you still have this negative five halves on the outside. And of course, my constant of integration. All right, so just to simplify this inside piece, when I divide by a fraction, that's like multiplying by the reciprocal. So if I multiply by the reciprocal, I'll put it in green here so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna multiply by four fifths, which would cancel that out. Multiply this by four fifths. So what I'm gonna end up with on the inside, oops, this is a five over two. I'm gonna end up with a four x to the five fourths over five. So we get this. Right now I can just simplify this. So of course, five over five, that will just cancel out. I still have that negative there though. And then four over two will reduce. So I end up with a negative two x to the five fourths over, and on the bottom, I canceled both of these out. So it's just gonna be one plus C, which I can just make negative two X to the five fourths plus C. Okay, so that's it for this video. That's the product rule with integration, or sorry, the power rule with integration. Um, we'll do some more videos on maybe trig functions and some exponentials and uh, logs and natural logs. So make sure you subscribe, like, and join us again for another video in the near future. Thank you.